Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today returned to the kingdom following a visit to the United Arab Emirates, during which His Majesty the King met with Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty King Hamad also participated in talks with UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and Dubai ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi during which they discussed the solid fraternal relations coordinating stances uh, via various issues of common interest as well as the latest regional and uh, global developments. Upon arrival, His Majesty the King was welcomed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended in the presence of First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Vice President of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Royal Endurance Team's preparations to participate in the custodian of the two Holy Mosque Cup for endurance for a distance of 120 kilometers, which will be held under the slogan the Fursan Endurance Cup in the Al Ula Governorate in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, with a large participation of jockeys from different countries of the world. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stressed that the custodian of the two Holy Mosque Cup for Endurance is an icon of major world championships that enjoy strong competition and wide participation, especially as it bears the name of the leaders of the Islamic nation, the son of the two Holy Mosque, King Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa indicated that the royal team was keen to be present in the first edition of the tournament three years ago, affirming the kingdom's keenness to be present in the major tournaments, indicating that this participation embodies the strong relationship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Highness explained that this participation has a special place for all participants and is sure to witness a strong and exciting competition after the organizing committee succeeded in organizing the previous tournaments and provided comfort for the riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa wished the royal team success in achieving the best results, expressing his great confidence in the capabilities of the team's riders to achieve positive results. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also expressed high confidence in the Saudi capabilities in an ideal organization for the race and to bring out the championship at the best organizational level. The veterinarian examination of the main race of 120 kilometers was held in the championship village under the supervision of the jury committee. Five riders will participate in the royal team. Ra'id Mahmoud, Abdurrahman Al-Zayed, Uthman Al-Awadi, Muhammad Al-Bastigi and Isa Sindi. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs oil and gas holding company chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued an edict appointing Yusuf Isa Bubshet and Mazen Mohammed Matar as NOGA holding representatives to the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Asri. Under the edict, Yusuf Isa Bubshet takes over as Asri chairman and Mazen Mohammed Matar continues to serve as board member and managing director. 
The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Islam Khalaf paid an inspection visit to development and services projects in the Southern Governorate, which is based on the approval of the cabinet led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister stressed that the Ministry pays great attention and continued efforts to implement sustainable development services in various regions of the Kingdom, noting that work is underway within the Ministry's strategy to implement a number of development projects in the Southern Governorate, which contributes to achieving the aspirations of of citizens pointing out that the ministry will start taking steps for the Asia Town Central Market project during the next month, which is considered one of the important projects in the Southern Governorate. On the other hand, the minister affirmed that the ministry had proposed a project to conditioning the Asa Town local market complex and the construction of a playground in Block 814. He reviewed the development of the Asa Town walkway where a rubber floor was installed in five gaming areas, explaining that the ministry had completed the Asa Town rubber walk project, which is the first independent walkway in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The floor was designed according to international standards for walking. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain decries the missile strikes launched by the terrorist Houthi militia on a residential neighborhood in the city of Marib in the Republic of Yemen, killing and injuring a number of people, including women and children, in a flagrant violation of international humanitarian law and all moral values and principles. The Ministry affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's solidarity with the Brotherly Republic of Yemen and vows support for all measures taken against these heinous attacks that target civilians and residential areas, calling on the international national community to take a firm stance towards the recurrent Houthi attacks that threaten security and stability in the region. As part of inspection campaigns, the Ministry of Health announced the administrative closure of a restaurant in the capital government and 16 violations were detected during the inspection visits to restaurants and cafes in various governments. Violations have been issued to these restaurants and cafes and take the necessary legal measures towards it by referring it to the legal authorities for violating the precautionary measures and requirements announced to address the coronavirus COVID-19, which is listed below the yellow level. The inspection visits were carried out in cooperation in coordination with the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority as part of the intensification of inspection visits. It aimed to ensure that the facilities adhere to the health requirements and procedures listed within the yellow level according to the mechanism of the light signal to level of spread of the coronavirus. The judicial control officers of the concerned authorities monitored violations during the inspection visit to 158 restaurants and cafes. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a great turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,220,718 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,192,572 had taken the second, and 933,515 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 32,805 with 3,030 recoveries, 5,255 registered new cases and two deaths. There are 88 active cases receiving treatment and 12 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,402 total deaths while 314,448 have recovered from the virus. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.